I'm a middle-aged gamer trying to be better at Rocket League, so I hired a coach to help me. Is coaching any good? Shall we play a game? I'm honestly conflicted on the topic of coaching. I'm willing to bet that every GC or high GC player that now does work as a coach were not coached themselves. They got there on their own steam, figuring out the game themselves. Then scrubs like me want them to magically make us a lot better. I'll tell you this for free. Being coached has not made the grind any easier. It has not reduced the number of hours I need to spend grinding just to not be bad. But in my case, I know I will not get there without coaching and without help. I'm not naturally gifted at this game and I just don't think I would figure out all the small nuances that make such an important difference on my own. So I hired Snowy as a coach, a gifted Rocket League player who has spent 10,000 plus hours grinding and thinking about the game. Yang Chi! Here comes the money! Money, money, money! <laughs> but so far, definitely worth it. What does my coaching actually look like? What is it that we actually do during a coaching session? Each coaching session is about two hours long and we will do this once, maybe twice a week. First, we'll dissect one or two replays of games that I lost. This replay analysis can take up to 90 minutes. I struggle with the stamina of this. Spending 90 minutes analyzing 10 minutes of gameplay can be quite tedious, but it is immensely important. And watching your own replays is nothing like watching RLCS games. During a game, in game, I feel fast, I feel amazing. And then watching the replay, I'm like, well, after the replay analysis, we'll team up and play a few ranked games together. During the game, I get some analysis and tips of what to think about while playing. We'll save one or two of those replays and do a light analysis of them afterward. Between coaching sessions, I make notes of things that I'm not sure of, things that I run across that I need help with or I'm having difficulty with, and then we'll spend some time where he will answer those questions here are the top 10 things that consistently come up in the coaching and things that I'm grinding to become better at. The first will come as no surprise to anybody, the little boost pads. Always, as you're making your way around the field, be collecting boost pads. Think about collecting boost and not going for the big shiny 100 boost. Urgency in play. Don't be dawdling around the field. Always be urgent in what you're doing, whether it's going up in attack, getting back in defense, boosting down when you're up in the air, not just floating aimlessly, but always looking to recover and get back quickly. Recoveries. This, of course, is very closely related to urgency, but always be thinking about recovery. When you hit a ball, think about how you're gonna recover. Land on your wheels. Always be thinking about the best way to recover. Spacing with teammate. I tend to err on the side of being too passive, but spacing is very important. Being close enough to support your teammate when in attack. Don't be too far back. Don't be diving into the corner with him. Space yourself in a way that supports your teammate. Pay attention to the small details in the game. Pay attention to what's going on in the game. Where are your opponents? Where are your teammates? position and respond and play accordingly. Always attack the play from the front. This means rotating to the back post so you're ready to face the play. Turn in a way to face the play. This is why we rotate to the back post so that we're ready to face the play and are not trying to get involved going backwards or turning awkwardly on the ball. Being patient and not giving away possession. So instead of rushing into a challenge, be patient, see where the play develops. When the ball comes to you, if the play's not threatening, keep possession and move forward in a controlled way. Don't always be banging the ball out of possession. Think deeply about the game and pay attention to the details of my play. What are the inputs? What are the mechanics? What am I actually trying to do? Why do I fail when I fail? Why do I succeed when I succeed? Kickoffs strategically are very important and you've got to be able to do them correctly. 
So a lot of attention and analysis is paid to how I do my kickoffs and how to improve them. From the way I boost to the way I flip, the way I approach and hit the ball on kickoff. And of course, power shots. Hitting the ball hard from whatever position on the field you might be. Hitting it hard with a dodge, hitting it properly off the bounce, Wherever you are, however, trying to hit the ball harder and with power. You've all heard these things, whether you watch them in a video or someone's told you, but knowing these things and actually doing them in game are different. And it takes constant and persistent effort to improve them in game. So, is coaching any good? I don't think coaching is for everyone. But for someone like me who really, really, really wants to be better at the game, and is fairly certain that I won't get there on my own, it has been enormously helpful. I'm dead at Horseborn, a middle-aged gamer, being coached to be better at Rocket League. Like, subscribe, share, get involved in the comments. Join me and be part of it. Shall we play a game?